Hello again, Aries, and happy Valentine's Day to all of you. So before we begin, I have two cards for you, and I really like the story that's being told here. So from Lay Vampire, you have compassion, empathy, simpatico, and kindness. This card is saying that you have an opportunity to change your mind about who has compassion within their heart and who is a caring being. This card is basically telling you that when you have help coming through to you from other people, they're doing it not because they're judging you or that they think that you're weak. They're doing it because they truly have compassion in their heart for you. So be open to the help that you may be receiving. And then on top of that, you have Quest from Chakra Wisdom. I like this card and the very first quote on this is, when I am somewhere else, my life will have meaning. So this card is basically telling you that you don't need to take a different path. You're actually on the path that you need to be on. It's like reminding you to be who you are, be Aries, live in the moment and experience the path that you're on right now. And then the key ideas for this is being open to wisdom and commitment to your path, which I love. It's basically telling you that here's the energy coming through. Very nice. Very nice. I like the four of wands because it speaks about celebration, but more importantly, this is saying that you understand that there's still more work to do, but this is a time to stand back and celebrate how far you've come. I love it. And I love that that's the signifier. And again, you know, the fire and the passion. So Aries, it's so who you are. And in the past, I like the Six of Pentacles coming through. And I've seen this a lot for Aries readings. Now, to me, the Six of Pentacles is about being open to giving and receiving. And when you combine that with compassion, yes, it's about being open to those who may be coming in to help you right now. And there's that open feeling and I love seeing that, especially with, you know, what you pulled in the Oracle cards. There's this openness that's going on with you right now. And you're celebrating the work that you've done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Temperance. So in the present, temperance. Temperance is all about tempering your heart with your mind. And this is about getting that balance between your emotions and your mental thought. And more importantly, when I see temperance, I think of guidance coming through to help. So you have, you know, this really nice balance going on here and you're open to it and you're celebrating the work that you've done in your life. It's beautiful to see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so future conditions, the night of ones that yes, it's so Aries. I, I love it. The Knight of Wands is passionate and driven and he's seeking new adventures. And this is about going after your passions. The fire, I love it. I love it for you guys. You're always doing something new. And again, you remind the rest of us to live in the moment. So here you are definitely going after your passions and you have this beautiful balance coming in right now. And there's this openness to whatever help may be coming through to you right now. It's like you're seeing people in your life differently. And it's like, you know, with Quest, when you look at that with the Knight of Wands, you know, don't get caught up in the idea that, you know, there's a different path, that that's when your life will begin because your life is happening now. And definitely, you know, go after what you're passionate about. Very nice. So the best path to follow. Now, when I see the Page of Pentacles, I always think about hard work. But, you know, to me, this is achievement. This is, you know, opportunities for security in your life. You know, and again, more work to do. The only thing that I worry about with the Page of Pentacles is like, you have to make time to play too. But when you look at what you're doing here, that's your passion. So I don't feel like, you know, this is extremely hard work for you. I feel like this is something that you love doing. And there's this openness, you know, and, and looking at this, I almost feel like 
what you're doing here, when you look at this with compassion in the Six of Pentacles, I, I feel like maybe it's you that has that compassion for others and you're doing something to help those that are around you rather than the other way around. It's kind of what I'm feeling from this right now. And you love what you're doing. I love it, Aries. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In your environment, the Three of Pentacles, I love seeing it because, again, it's, you know, you're, you're doing something new here for sure. But the Three of Pentacles is you're being recognized for what you're doing. It's like just starting out here, but again, you're being sought out for what it is that you do and you're doing the right thing. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful, Aries. This to me, it's like I, I get this feeling like you're, you're going beyond yourself here and I feel like you're doing things for others, but you have a passion for it and you have this beautiful balance in your life happening right now. I love it. I love it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Time for some wine. The High Priestess. Seeing her and your hopes and your fears. This to me is tapping into that intuitive psychic nature. So the High Priestess to me is where all the possibilities lie before manifestation. This is where all the unknown knowledge lies. And, you know, seeing her in your hopes and your fears, it's like, again, it's like guidance, but it's like inner guidance that's happening right now. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. I would be celebrating this too, for sure. You have this beautiful balance going on. You're tapping into your intuitive nature and you're creating some beautiful things here. And it's new. It's new, but you have a passion for it. And there's like this openness. And again, I still feel like, you know, this is something that you're doing for others. I love it, Aries. This is beautiful. Like, I don't want to turn over the last card. <laughs> oh, shit. I should have waited on that wine. Yeah. <laughs> so the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my. Seeing that as the outcome. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're doing here is going to bring some money into your life. I love it. So the Ace of Pentacles is always about good opportunities coming through. And it has to do with security and money in your life. And I definitely feel like that is what you're doing. You're open to it for sure. You're working at it and you love it. I, I love this, Aries. This is a beautiful reading. And again, with compassion, I really feel like what you're doing here is for others. And and I feel like, you know, I mean, the message in the card is, is excuse me, about reminding you that, you know, the people that come in that help you, they're not judging you and they don't think that you're weak. But I think this is you. I think this is how you are towards others right now, compassionate and caring and showing this kindness for sure. And what you're doing is creating definitely some security in your life. I mean, look at it, you know, I mean, it's just, it's like, it's just starting to take root here, but what you're doing is beautiful. And again, it's like, you know, looking at quest, I think this card is just reminding you that you need to stay on the path that you're on right now. You, you don't need to carry that feeling of, you know, if I go this way, then my life will start. Or if I do this, then things will start happening. No, you are exactly where you need to be right now. And what you're doing here is beautiful. Beautiful, Aries. I love it. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Yeah, I, I really feel like what you guys are doing here is for others. You're really tapping into that giving nature, I feel like. And definitely, you know, when it comes to attracting more love in your life, you are definitely on the right path here. I really love what's happening here. I had a feeling that this reading was centered around you guys having compassion for others rather than 
people coming in to help you, you are really tapping into that part of Aries that I have seen many, many times. When it comes to helping others, you have this amazing ability to set your ego aside and be there for the people who need you. And I love what is happening here. You have beautiful guidance coming to you right now. You're tapping into that intuitive nature. And then on top of that, you have this beautiful balance in your life right now. And you're open. You're open to giving that feeling of balance and harmony to others. I love it. I love it, Aries. You're doing something here that is so much bigger still than what I think you guys realize. And what you're doing here, you have a passion for. And you're willing to continue working at this. And you're being recognized for it. I love it. And then on top of all of that, you're going to get some financial gain as well. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love the reading. And again, I think Quest is just reminding you that you need to stay on the path that you're on right now because what you're doing here is so beautiful. The fact that you're giving of yourself to others right now is, it, it's, I can't even put it into words. And like I said, I, I've seen that side of Aries so many times. You guys are fantastic people. You will give the shirt off your back to someone who needs you. And again, speaking the language of love, spiritual connection, and do something for somebody else. You know, it's like reaffirming what you guys are doing here and letting you know that you are on the right path and to continue doing what you're doing and you will attract those same feelings right back to you.